And here's a little overview for the Fire TV inputs. So when you press the home button on the remote, this little house in the middle, it'll bring you to this screen. So the top bar is home, live, your videos, DVR, movies, TV shows. Um, all you really need is the home uh, or the live button. But home sh should have all the apps that you want. So once you select home, you come down. Here's the YouTube TV. That's our main app that has all the TV channels. There's a Prime Video, YouTube, Netflix, HBO Go. So let's go walk you through the YouTube TV. Once you press YouTube TV, it'll open the app and they'll play whatever you were playing before. But if you want to exit it, you just press this back button right here, back, and this will bring you to three menu options, library, home, and live. Library is what I have on the DVR. Home is based on my recommendations and favorites. It'll show the channels that I want to watch. And live is where all the channels are. So live, if you just scroll down, so the top couple of channels are my favorites, ESPN, CNBC, but then you also have the CBS, ABC, NBC, Fox. So as you scroll down, whatever channel you want to watch, you just scroll down with this little circle right here, up, down, left, right, and then press the middle button to select. So here, let's select the NBA TV, you hit, and then it'll take about 10 seconds to load the video feed and here's the NBA TV. And this works similarly for the bedroom TVs. Uh, the one in the full bedroom, the TV remote is essentially the same as this with the power button on top. The queen bedroom uh, does not have the power button on top. So you have to turn on the TV first and then use the fire TV remote.